release the gem. In this, our sixth episode in the Nerd Dice Ruby Gem series, we're actually going to release our gem to Ruby Gems. Uh, before we do that, we want to build it and uh, do so securely. So we're going to follow the instructions here on guides.rubygems.org slash security. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is create a self-signed SSH certificate. So it says uh, gem cert dash dash build. We need to use the email in gem spec. code email gem cert dash dash build phrase here so we were successful here we're going to now execute the command to change the permissions for the key Public cert and our private key that have been generated here. Follow to the next item. We're going to see if we can do this in split screen instead of. We'll keep the width and adjust the height. I might need to change this to stateless code. I've got uh, two Ruby gem accounts and the stateless code email is on the stateless code account, but we'll start with try by trying to do this. If we uh, fail, we'll uh, do a, a move on it. So we've got our back that. 
for the next man. in that directory. All right. So now I'm going to try to build it. Looks like the the current fashion has is now gem build. It used to be rake build uh, that you'd use. Oop. Invalid gem spec. No. And before we build it, we probably want to rerun. Rerun RuboCop. Just let those happen. What is our auto correctable offense here? We've got conflicting standards here. See how this is toggling. Now we've got
question mark, right? Six offenses detected. They're all in the spec. They're the ones that we had before. So now we'll try to build again. Oh, run our tests. See if that fixes things. implicit conversion of regex into string bundler cannot continue line 43 back and use the if statement here. working. We know that RuboCop's not going to like this. Right, well, let's see if this will still work. See what breaks it. So that 
it's still working. And our fences end with instead of regex. Needs match. The match data is not used. still able to build. Still able to build there. Down to one autocorrectable. And I'm just going to ignore that one. All right, Our tests are passing gem is buildable. We'll go back and try to gem build. All right, it says we successfully built. So now we're going to We pulled it. Bet the package. All right. So now that has worked. And add my add my cert here. I think I might have already done that. into package gem install gem and see if we can do it with high security. It worked. Status, we are going to see if we can push that gem file first, then we'll work on tagging, committing and tagging the release. So publishing your gem, go down. So we're in package. Push. And we'll see what happens here. So we're going to enter our credentials. while I enter my password 
and it says we successfully registered the gem. So it looks like it was successful. We'll go to rubygems.org. Search for Nerd Dice. And now it exists with no downloads. But we can go in check some licenses all came in go to our home page link works change log link does not work Source code link works. Documentation. Bug tracker. Takes you to issues. Good. Download. Review changes. So, looks like it worked there uh, since we're after, um, it's actually on the 7th, so we'll, we'll note that in our change log so that that matches with RubyGems. do that yet. We want to commit the exact version of the gem that was published and we want to tag it. So git status change there all right so that works we will commit message. So here's our commit message. We'll commit it. Now we're going to tag it. It's been a while since I've used git tag, so I'm going to look up the documentation. I've got the, di the git documentation up here. It just disappeared on me. There we go. Annotated tag is what we want. So we're going to do Git tag a sign it. I need to actually put the tag. So we got an error with an unknown switch. Uh, so it's a lowercase s to sign a tag. Try it again. 
try it again. Dash dash sign. And it did not come up with GPG, which is weird. to get push dash dash tags now let's look at what we've got in stateless code there we go we have released a gem to ruby gems in our next video we'll do a little bit of tidying up uh, make sure that we have our checksums and everything else that's in the security area and then we're going to um, take our 0 0.1 and check it out as a branch in case we need to make any fixes to it thanks for watching this stateless codecast be sure to like comment subscribe and spread the word you can follow us on social media at Stateless Code. Until next time, keep coding and don't aggress against peaceful people or vote for others to do so on your behalf.